Virgo, this is a really dynamic time for you. And I'm going to get into the astrology to explain why. This is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Welcome to everybody who's clicking on this video for the first time and just finding my channel. Thank you for giving it a chance. And for those of you who are returning, God bless you and thank you for your constant support of the channel. You mean everything to me. Um, the energies that I explain to you, Virgo, in this reading are for you. So you take them where they resonate in your life. And also, while you're here, try your rising sign video, try your moon sign video, because they may, may resonate more with you this week. That happens a lot, depending on what's going on in the astrology. It might be more powerful um, to your moon or more powerful aspects to your, your rising sign. So um, take a look and see. Um, always feel confident in leaving comments below because I definitely want to know how this is impacting you guys and how the energy is playing out in your life or how you see it happening. Uh, there's always an extended reading that I hope you'll join me for. That link is down below in the description box or at the top of the comment section. I'll pin it to the top of the comment section for you guys or I'll leave it at the top of the end of this video so you can just click right on it and go right to it. I would love to have you continue the conversation with me. If you love my videos, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. And I have more content that if you really enjoy my content, you can check out my second YouTube channel, at Astrology Motivation. Um, that's where I go live Monday through Friday or a live for a live astrology chat and a live tarot card reading. So I hope to see you there too. Okay, guys, so the... I think it's just really interesting what's happening with you guys. You know, your natal sun is very much trying to a lot that's going on right now. For those of you who have your natal sun at the end of Virgo season, say um, the end of the Virgo zodiac, which is around 28 degrees uh, Virgo. So say between 25 and 30 degrees Virgo. It is trying, your natal sun is now trying to this fantastic conjunction that's happening between the sun and Pluto, which means there is a harmony. This is actually helping to balance out your life or you're kind of good with the dynamic shifts that are happening to you. And on the other side, you guys who are born, what is it, around 14 degrees Virgo. Um, so that's like give or take. So maybe up to 10... So maybe up to say 11, 12 degrees Virgo or about 18 degrees Virgo, your natal sun is trying to Uranus, which means that there's harmony with shifts and changes. And it's almost like you want surprises, which is not like you, but it's just a time in your life where you're interested in stuff that even surprises you because your mind has sort of been turned on. Now, Mercury is direct and at this point, you're finally starting to feel it moving forward again. It's not stuck or stationary because it's just posted direct. It started to move forward again. And there is a little bit of a hiccup between a Mercury and the Saturn, um, the, the Venus-Saturn conjunction, which is there's almost like a challenge to maybe commitments that you've made or um, promises that you made, especially regarding financial problems, well, financial, not problems, but financial situations, financial commitments, um, uh, or relationship commitments or sort of like marital commitments, like commitments that involve both finances and romance. There's sort of like a tension, a tension there that I think is really making change look good to you. So this is the time. It's the time when you're prepped and primed for change as well. If this sun conjunct Pluto exposes any crap that's been going on in Capricorn, in the corporate world, within contracts and stuff, it'll actually work out to your favor. That information, once you get it, you'll be able to use it to help yourself. So that's really interesting. I thought I'd just share that with you. Um, for those of you who are born at, um, say, 23 degrees, so between, say, 20 degrees uh, Virgo and 27 degrees Virgo, your natal sun is opposite, in opposition to Neptune. So if you have a fogginess or have fantasies have been getting in your way, that's why. It's, been, it's almost could drive you to distraction. 
or if there have been some health issues that you've been working through, you might be looking for alternative methods of treatment because the standard methods just aren't working. And it's a good time to look into that stuff. So without any further ado, I do have two cards in front of me. One is the Four of Cups, which means could mean a missed opportunity, could mean just not knowing something was good when it was offered to you. It could mean just not feeling very interested in something right now, but that's usually in reverse. Upright, it's almost like not prepared to see something that's offered to you, definitely having a few different options on the table, or needing some time to just reflect, not move, and think, how do I really feel here? And maybe finally being able to consider feelings that in the past you didn't want to consider. Okay, that's, that's a huge breakthrough. Judgment, this is the correct decision. It's almost like clarity or the judgment is really um, um, realizing what is valuable, realizing what is worth it to you, um, realizing what... Um, what you want your life to look like and even that you're ready for a new life in some sense, like really being able to manage your priorities. This is also usually something that is made in your fate, like it works out for you. So this could be a decision that, like I was talking about, something is is happening in, in Capricorn, something could be deconstructed because something could be exposed and you don't even know what's going on, but it actually works out for you. It sort of precipitates something that really ends up helping you. Okay, so let's get deeper into that, shall we? Virgo. Virgo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that this is, oh, let me see, I'll show you the cards. Let me finish. Oh, shoot. We got a tower on the table. That's Pluto. That's something really destructive, but sometimes it can work out. Hold on. So I'll show you what just came out. We have the three of pentacles, which means you know what? It's that all of a sudden people's tastes have shifted and now somebody is judging you and your work. They're finally seeing it. I don't think that they saw it before. I don't think necessarily that you weren't valued. You just weren't seen. You weren't noticed. People had other things on their plate, so they didn't take things into consideration. Now they're t turning around and they're looking at you and they're like, oh, wow, you do really good work or wow, you're really valuable. You're really impressive. It's like, you know, it's kind of those times in your life when you're like, I've been standing here for the past five years and you just saw me. Yeah, that's kind of how it's happening. But hey, no time like the present because people are actually, oh shit, you, you do all that? Yeah, I do. It's going to shock you. And I think it has more to do with an institutional breakdown that probably has nothing to do with you. This is major arcana. So there's some big thing that's tumbling down that's making room. It's like, that's why they didn't notice you. There was a big tower standing in their way, right? But now that that's gone, it's like, oh, when did you get here? I've been standing here. It's just something was blocking your view of me. Now it's not going to block it. Now, now the view is unobstructed. I'm going to get deeper into what the tower actually, how it looks, what it, what it, how it may happen in your life, but, or how it may happen. And we'll, we'll get into that, but it is going to work out for you, boo. Oh yes, honey. It is really going to turn out to be like, this is what I've always wanted. This is what I've always wished for. It's like that obnoxious skyscraper right outside my window is gone. It's been demolished. And now I have a free, free view of the ocean. And all of a sudden it's like, you know, my real estate went from this to this because now I got an ocean unobstructed view. So it's like, like that's the kind of advantage that I needed. You didn't make the tower come down. You didn't make the thing happen, but it ends up really working out for you. So I'm just curious and I'm sure you guys are too. So before we pull a moon card, I want to ask God, what is the tower? How does it look? How does the tower work? How does this end up happening in Virgo's life? Okay, this, okay, yes. So this is an attack on the corporate world. This is an attack on a Capricorn 
or a Capricorn energy. Somebody or a Capricorn is finally making a decision to, you know, talk up or stand up or say something about some shitty thing that's been happening that's been defeating you or de defeating people. It's like, it's almost like, you know, uh, just vo a voice or words have been, have been exchanged or a, something has, a message has been delivered. This could be by a Capricorn to a Capricorn or just represent the corporate world. I told you that this is what's the, it's Pluto conjuncts the sun was really happening in Capricorn. When it goes into Aquarius, the sun goes into Aquarius. It is still conjunct Pluto, but it started in Capricorn. So this is a sense of, yeah, something, something is finally coming out about some sort of corporate exchange or some sort of very stagnated or very stubborn energy that was really de either defeating itself or defeating a lot of people because it was just like slaying the game and then action is taken. It's like you can finally, action is action's being taken. You can finally do something about this shitty stuff that's been happening. It's like, it's like a message comes out or information is revealed that sort of brings it to its knees because once it's revealed, it can't go on functioning the way that it has because it's just total exposure. Total exposure. Now, yeah, this could also be a statement of, listen, if you're with a Capricorn, I'm leaving you. I'm done. I'm done with this bullshit. I'm done with this crap and I'm ready to move forward. So that may be what catalyzes them to actually change or change how they are. You know, this sense of somebody I care about is going to leave me or something like that. Something like that. You know, apply it to where it resonates in your life. But that's kind of how it's looking. I know I'm shaking the table. I apologize. So let's get into the moon card because we are having this really powerful new moon in Aquarius on Saturday that is conjunct to Pluto still. And like I said, trying to, um, trying to some of your NATO suns. So especially those Virgos, like I said, born at the end of Virgo season, say the 21st, 22nd, maybe the, maybe like the 18th, 19th, the 21st, 22nd, like those people who are born at the very tail end of Virgo season, this is, this is going to be really, this is going to really work out for you. You could be celebrating by the, by the end of next week, you could really be celebrating, uh, hold your vision and balance spirituality with practicality. So there's a sense of there's a sense of realizing here that maybe you have gotten distracted or relied too much on your dreams, your fantasies, or, or you know, la vie en rose, the rose-colored glasses. And now it's like, no, I gotta get real about this shit and I gotta like focus, focus my, my attention and focus my eyesight because honestly, you know, I, I don't want anything getting in my way. Moving forward, like hold my vision enough to sort of force myself to focus on what needs to be done. Not the ideal, not the fantasy, but on what is real. Also, it's saying have faith. Have, have faith in and have some conviction in, in, what you, in what you feel and what you believe. Not feel as in an emotion, feel as in a vibration. Intuitively, what you feel is like, it's like, it's almost like in some ways you're okay with what you intuitively know right now. You have strong conviction in that. And I like that energy. Balance spirituality with practicality. You know, it's, it's finding a way to believe, maybe even believe that your dreams could come real because you're finding a way to actually make them come true. You're, you're figuring out what actually needs to happen to make something intangible real. That's a little abstract though, I gotta say. I, I, wanna, I wanna get more details. Let me know in the comments below exactly how this is coming out. Just how this is playing out. I want some real words for Virgo. Strength card. So this is Major Arcana. What is strengthening? Is it your convictions that are being strengthened? I feel like it is in some ways. It's like almost like you're realizing or you're getting information that makes you realize, oh, fuck, I was right about that. I was right about this. 
I'm, maybe I'm glad I took that risk or I'm glad I, I followed my intuition because now I'm starting to see signs and it's actually starting to manifest like, oh, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, so what's happening? What's happening? Nothing's coming out in the past. I think you're done with the past. What's happening? Four of swords. This is usually making, making amends with the past, being able to let go of the past, being able to make peace and take some time to even think about, to think about things. Um, and then we have the four of wands. It's almost like reflecting on maybe why you got together with somebody or reflecting on making peace with why, why you love them or wanted to be around them or somebody's reflecting upon you and now realizing, okay, I am ready to commit. I'm ready to actually do this now because maybe other obstacles have cleared out of my way. And that's actually how I'm benefiting from this. Like if other obstacles have cleared out of my way, now they're starting to see you in a different light and reflecting on what could have been. Magician is here, which means it has something to do with something you've conjured or something that you have bought about yourself as above so below is saying yeah you have manifested this into reality you're actually starting to see the reality thread the real thread coming from the ether um you could also be thinking back or reflecting on a time when things were really magical and really happy between the two of you and then we have the Ten of Cups, which is coming in the future. So it could lead to a really like happiness and abundance when it comes to your family and your home life situation. It's like you've always wanted this. It's like you've always wanted this and now you're finally getting it because you had the conviction and you never stopped actually manifesting it. So what is this that you have been like working your witchcraft on? Right? Maybe not real witchcraft, but like like you have manifested this. You have not lost sight of it. And because of that, the, the universe is saying that you are manifesting. This is coming into reality. Like you've wanted this for a long time. And it's got something to do with love, abundance, connection to somebody. Because all the obstacles have been removed now. Nine of swords, this offered you a lot of stress. So this offered you a lot of pain. Maybe this was somebody that was sick or some worries that you had with, with regards to three of cups friends being around people that you liked or maybe you were worried about somebody else being around all these other people or thinking you know am i ready maybe am i ready for this serious commitment because i've got all these other people that i want or that are interested in me it's like finally coming to the conclusion of what is actually going to make you happiest and that is what is becoming clear and if you've been having like memories of the good old days this sense of it's be, the reason why those memories have been coming back to you is because that energy is coming back into your life really whoa why is this nine of swords here though I, you know why you know you know what was getting in your way you you started to remember the good old days as bad things you started to just make them ob objects of pain because things weren't like that anymore and that was putting a block on them be you know them ever ha happening again or then and then uh, the, uh, that happiness ever returning and now there's sort of a harmony with the past there's sort of a harmony with those good times you're, you're not letting them bother you anymore and because of that they're opening up to you yeah two of cups is here so you may be reconnecting with an old friend you may re be reconnecting with somebody that you used to enjoy a lot like you love them a lot and now you find yourself reconnecting with them and it may be becoming something more than it ever was before, right? And, and, and it could be. That's why maybe you knew that somebody was more than a friend. I mean, that's, that's kind of specific. Maybe it bothered you at one point. 
but de there's definitely sort of like like confronting this suffering by by not letting it mean mean hurt you anymore it doesn't it doesn't hurt anymore it actually is like bring back the joy hold on so somebody was taking on too much work Somebody was because, or maybe you, maybe you thought, oh, I have to do this. I have to work so hard. If I work so hard or take on this job, it'll make me something amazing. It'll make me something wonderful. But it's become almost cumbersome. It's become too much. It's actually gotten in the way of happiness. But there's also a concern because either was there was a contract or there was an obligation or you needed the money now right? So it's like, how do I go back to being happy when I need the money now? But it became a burden. Like somebody was working too much and you miss them. You miss them even though logically you knew that they needed to do what they needed to do, but you still also needed them around more. Whose story am I describing? This is really interesting. It sounds like a personal reading. I want to dig deeper into these nine of swords, guys. I hope you will join me for the extended. There's a lots more to share. I will see you there. Uh, the link is down below. It's, it's all over the place. I'll see you guys there.